What's up guys? I'm Melissa from Adventure Endeavor and today our toy box is a huge mess. So we are going to be working on a reorganization and redoing the flooring project. So stay tuned and if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we get started. Alright, the next part is the part I was like the most worried about. Project day. So like Melissa said, we are doing a project. We are starting with flooring. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what our thought process is and then we'll get started. Plan is to pull everything out of the toy box, the carpet, everything. And we are gonna be putting some of this insulation board. It's called Artec. Artec. They come in four by eight sheets and we calculated that we need three. So we got three of them and they are about a half inch thick. After that, we're gonna put that down. We're gonna tape up all the seams and everything so it helps insulate the toy box. Most of the toy boxes in these toy haulers are not insulated because, I don't know, because they feel like it doesn't need to be, I guess. But for us living in it, we wanna insulate it to help with the heat and with the cooler temperatures. Then, once that's all laid down and taped in place, we're gonna run strips of this one by three going north-south down the toy box and then adding little kickers in between, basically building a structure that the plywood will be able to sit on. And then once we get that all decked out, get the strips all in there and all attached, we will be adding the 7 16 plywood. So it's gonna be insulation, strips, and then this plywood, and then the vinyl flooring. So it's a bit of a process, but we're really excited to see the results. All right guys, so it's gonna be a long day, but we really hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started cleaning out the back. Guys, I am super excited for this. It's gonna be so nice once we got it finished. I don't know. I also have a feeling that it's gonna give us some inspiration to keep going and keep remodeling. Right, babe? No. No? This is where it ends. You don't wanna paint the walls and this is where it ends. redecorate. No? Alright. Oh man. We'll see about that. Don't tell Jesse. All right guys, so we got everything cleared out and these toy haulers come with this typical rubber flooring and then they have the tie downs for your toy, whatever, razor, motorcycles, whatever you want. So our plan is to put our half inch foam board down and then we're gonna put some like, I guess furring strips, I don't know what they're called, some strips of wood down and then we're gonna connect it all with plywood and then we're gonna put the vinyl flooring on top of that. So hopefully it makes sense and we're gonna try and film everything for you uh, the best we can. So we got everything swept and vacuumed up. The floor in here is looking pristine, but it's all gonna be covered. We did remove this one trim panel on this side, whereas over here we have this diamond plate. The reason we did that is because we have my desk that goes over here, so all the diamond plate is covered. And then in the corner, we're gonna we're gonna put a washer, and that's another thing. We're, put, we're getting a washer, and Melissa's desk in the corner. So all the diamond plate's gonna be covered. So we figure we might as well leave it on. It's more added protection. And then over here as well, we're gonna be adding a built-in bench, so that all that diamond plate's gonna be covered. So it's just this one spot. Melissa wants to make it look nice. I want to make it pretty. So. Next step is uh, bringing the insulation in. So the question is, which side of this insole form 
Like a glove. <laughs> Like a glove. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so the question is, which side, which way does the metallic side of Insulfoam Artec face? Because one side here is metallic, and one side is not. So I googled it, and this is a common thing that is googled, and it says the metallic facer on Insulfoam Artec may provide additional R value if it's facing a dead airspace of three quarter inches or more. If there's no dead airspace, it doesn't matter which way the metallic side is facing. So we are going to put the metallic side up. Wow, that fits perfectly. We got our insulation all installed and we taped all the seams and that's down. And now we're dealing with how on these toy haulers, the back uh, tapers down. I guess it's maybe referred to as like a dovetail. And we don't want that. So we want our floor to basically extend straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these strips in first. And then our plan is to screw these strips into our two by six here. So when you're on the outside looking in, you're gonna be seeing basically, well, we're gonna cover it all up fancy like. But anyways, we're gonna use this two by six to raise the height and we're gonna build the flooring out. So there's technically gonna be like a small cavity in here, which we're gonna put some extra insulation. We took our two by six and this is the correct height. And then now we're taking our strips and we're basically making sure everything is level and flush and we are screwing them in to attach to basically build this platform and we have this gap now. We're using a drill to pre-drill the wood. You always want to pre-drill so that way you don't split your wood either on this side or on this side. And then we're running our screws in. What we did additionally was we added this two by four because the span from here to here, we noticed just a little bit of flex in here. So what we're gonna do is, before we add our plywood, we're gonna take this two by four, we're gonna push it up as far as we can. Actually gonna tap it in a little bit because this foam over time is gonna squish down. So we're gonna kind of preload it in a sense to where this is nice and firmly in here and we'll make sure it's all level and we'll just add some screws and then we'll cover it with plywood and then the vinyl. We got our strips all lined up and spaced out evenly and now we're just laying our plywood and then the vinyl is going to go on top of that. So now Jesse is uh, just mopping all of the remaining sawdust and everything off of the floor so that our max grip vinyl tape oops, will stick better. Most important step, the first piece of tape. So this is probably the most nerve-wracking step. We are trying to apply this single sheet of vinyl. We have some tape to tape it down. It's specifically made for this job. It's just really difficult to make sure you don't get wrinkles and everything comes out good. We've, we've never done this before, so wish us luck. done so we got the flooring all laid out got our bikes back in got the desk in and um, it's looking pretty good pretty simple job probably like three or four hours of actual work the rest of it is just kind of messing around so we really hope you guys enjoyed this video it was fun for us to make we always see a lot of questions about building out your toy box for kids or for an office and for us 
you know, we're going with the office because we don't have kids yet. So we wanted to get this flooring, we wanted to get it all leveled. And um, yeah, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.